What is up guys, Kobe Cheese here with another video talking about one of my builds that I have got to map level. Seems like I've been doing quite a bit of new builds lately, so uh, this one I actually respect after the nerf to summoners, they took out Smoke Mine, and I decided to respect to Righteous Fire, which was a build that I was doing previously and then I died on that one, but I was like, well, I'm already Marauder, let's go ahead and do Righteous Fire because it's a lot of fun. So let's take a look at what it is all about. So I'm gonna go ahead and uh, jump into this map and we'll explain exactly what I'm doing. But first, uh, which auras am I running? Vitality and Purity of Fire and Grace. Now the crazy thing about Righteous Fire is it should burn you down to no life and then turn off. But since I have so much regen from the past tree, like 10 regen from the tree and then you get more regen from, more regen from, you know, your, your Vitality Aura and all that good stuff. It all comes together to make it so that you actually regen life rather than degen life. You'll notice I'm at 584 regen at the moment. Well, that's with this different chest on. So let's go ahead and talk about a couple of things that I do in order to make this build work out and do lots and lots of damage. So, um, so pretty much just like Summoner, you are going to be snapshotting the damage of Righteous Fire. So the way Righteous Fire works is it is a buff that persists until, like I said, you get to one HP and then it turns off. So therefore, Whatever damage you have when you turn on Righteous Fire is going to persist. Even if you take the gem out of your skills, you can take the gem off and throw it on the ground and Righteous Fire remains until you leave the area. So, uh, what I do is I put a Carcass Shack on and we use that to turn on Righteous Fire. Also, I have these two things right here, the Red Beaks. At low life, you get an extra 100% increased damage. All right, so that's 200% total. I've got an Animate Guardian who has a Leer Cast and a Dying Breath Staff, you'll notice those buffs on me right now. So, what I do in order to get low life very quickly and easily is I've got Blood Magic linked to my Purity of Elements. So let's go ahead and turn on Purity of Elements, boom, we are low life. And we're gonna turn on our Righteous Fire now with the Anime Guardian there, and with low life, boop. And then we gotta go right around, uh, or not around, we got we got a Weapon Swap right back, and you'll see my life go back up to uh, a decent amount. And I actually use my Ruby Flask whenever I want to regen very quickly. So, right now we are sitting at 90 fire resistance. Uh, once I hit a uh, level 20 on my my vitality and level 20 on my um, purity of fire, I'll get even more life regen effectively, you know, because uh, I'm regening more than I'm degening in, in a sense. So, so now that I've weapon swapped, the animate guardian goes away. The items that he, have, that he has, uh, they persist even if you weapon swap like that. So the only way to lose those is if, is if he dies, but since he's never up, he never dies, essentially. And uh, you'll notice that since I use Carcass Jack, that gives me the extra area damage. It also gives me an extra radius. The uh, the size of the Righteous Fire is quite large. So let's go ahead and uh, take the Carcass Jack off and place these gems where they belong. Let me go ahead and... Uh, I just put them in there to level them. My Conk Effect is level 17, and so is my Increased Area of Effect. I could continue to level those, if I wanted to, but I just keep them in the carcass check for the moment. So, anyhow, uh, I forgot to take some of these things out. Let's go ahead and do the map. You guys are probably bored like, well, show us the bail, bro. All right, let's do it. It's pretty simple. You just run around. I curse. I curse a uh, Ellie Weakness. Ellie Weakness is going to lower the damage by quite a significant amount, especially since it is a quality Ellie Weakness. you notice I just kind of run around. Things die almost instantaneously because the amount of damage that I do is very significant. Um, I think my math might be kind of wrong and, and on the low end, uh, I, I probably do more damage than I've calculated, but I but I've calculated that I do around uh, like 21,000 damage or something like that, based on all of the increased damage modifiers that I have. I still have not taken all the damage nodes on the tree. Eventually, I'm going to be grabbing these holy fire nodes. That's an extra 60% burning damage, so that'll be very nice. I do have a uh, string bond totem, but it's not leveled up very high yet, so it kind of sucks. I just put that in there with the increased burning damage and stuff. Uh, whenever I run into a room like this, I'll just turn on. Um, I'll, I'll just turn on stuff like my, my Ruby Flask, I'll put that on, and everything's good. The cool thing about this build is, uh, you know, while there are a lot of mods that you don't really want to do, at least initially, you don't want to do like half regen and vulnerability maps until you get level 20 gems and you have decent gear, um, <clears throat> you can still do a lot of maps that other people couldn't do. So, Temp Chains is not necessarily so bad. You're still going to be doing just as much damage in Temp Chains maps. You're just going to be running slower, and it's really not a big deal. Uh, and feeble maps, potentially, you're, oh yeah, that lowers your damage a little bit. Oh, is this the, uh, this is the uh, invader guy. Let's go ahead and kill him. He's going to do quite a bit of damage to me. I don't have the best gear just yet. So let's uh, hope he dies. He's actually 
He's actually tanking quite a bit of damage. Alright, so it took a little bit longer to kill that one. Normally, I kill these guys pretty quick. Alright, so... Anyways, let's talk about the other stuff that he even... So, elemental weakness to lower the resistances. That's going to make my burning damage uh, tick a lot harder. You'll also notice that sometimes an Ice Nova goes off. I have a self-cast Ice Nova, as well as a cast on damage taken Ice Nova with 20 quality. It's only level 8, so that it can... Uh, function with a level one cast damage tank and, and you know and during, during cry because well let's get tankier right so we got that set up and I also have a cyclone the cyclone doesn't really do any damage I'm using a bright beak because bright beak allows me to attack faster which allows me to leap slam quicker as well as the resistances on it so it allows me to overcut my resistance even further than I normally would have been able to all right so we've got uh, leap slam to move around gives us that uh, mobility We've got Cyclone linked to Life on Hit. Pretty much, I just use Cyclone because it's kind of fun to use. Even though it's not really doing damage, it feels like I'm killing things with Cyclone. It makes the build kind of fun. So I can either run around and I can Cyclone, or I can use, uh, I can use, I, I guess I didn't explain why I'm using Ice Nova. So I'm actually using Elemental Equilibrium. Elemental Equilibrium reduces the resistances of enemies by 50% um, to the elements that you don't use. So since I'm using Ice Nova, they are reduced, uh, their fire and lightning was reduced by 50%. Now, the uh, you would think, well, you're constantly doing fire damage, they must be resistant to fire now. No, the way it works is you actually have to do a an attack that hits. So both Searing Bond and Righteous Fire, since they don't actually hit the mobs, they're just considered a burning effect. They don't actually cause them to be uh, resistant to fire. So it works out really well with a build like this. So they, I can potentially get them down like a negative 100 resist, I guess, something like that. Let's see, the, uh, yeah, cursed enemies lose 49% resist from Ellie Weakness, as well as the 50% from, um, you know, from the elemental equilibrium. So overall, everything comes together to cause the build to do a lot of damage. Now, I'm going through the, you know, I'm going through kind of slow. Let's go ahead and do this. Oh, yeah, so Val Cyclone, which is also linked to Life on Hit. This is able to help me kind of like pull things in to... Pretty much just the black hole of doom, essentially, because I am... Anything that gets next to me is going to die very quickly. Other cool thing is, a lot of bosses in the game tend to do really high uh, fire damage. A lot of the new invaders, and a lot of the... Uh, just in general, a lot of the really dangerous stuff in this game has uh, fire damage. And since you are actually immune to fire damage once you pop a ruby flask, you don't really have to worry about most of that. See these guys? They're throwing out that. I, I have 90% resist, and if I really want to take zero damage, I'll just pop a ruby flask, of course. And if I'm taking a lot of damage in general, I'll pop a ruby flask. And my, since my regen is so insane, like 600 regen at the moment, that means that I'm going to always be regening more than a life flask would regen. So, so think about it this way. You get how much life? You get, a, uh, you get about 392 life from a seething flask, right? So 392 life from a seething flask, you can use those three times, sure. That's gonna give you 1200 life, or I can just turn on my ruby flask, and that gives me 600 per second, okay? That's like having two instant flasks every second that that ruby flask is turned on. It's really insane, like I have so much survivability just from that alone. And even without, um, even without the uh, ruby flask on, I still have a decent amount of regen, and it's only going to get better as I level up my gems. This is one of those builds that with 20, uh, 20 uh, level 20 gems, it's just, it's ridiculous. That's why you see the people, <coughs> the only people who have actually been able to kill at Ziri are, are people that play Righteous Fire. Um, also, you see some people that do like Cyclone with really expensive gear and stuff like that too. But in any case, uh, I've actually got only 5,000 life, 5,100 I guess right now. People at my level can actually have much more life. I just don't have a lot of life gear. I'm actually magic finding. So I finally linked to my carcass check and I linked it with item rarity. That allowed me to uh, snapshot item rarity gem into my Righteous Fire. You only need a 4 link for this to work. You don't even have to have a 5 link. The 5 link is only if you want item rarity. There's really no, th there's nothing I can think of that you can actually put on Righteous Fire for a 6th link that would be uh, very effective. So, so yeah, the build is very cheap. All you actually need is a Rise of the Phoenix Shield, and that gives you the extra like 8% fire resistance that you're going to require in order to uh, meet the, uh, the regen requirements. So... Overall, the build comes together very nicely. You see I'm already like full on items. Oh, well, pretty much. Yep, there you go. Full on items. Because of I'm at 200% ready, I'm using a pair of RSCs. I also have some... some uh, pretty much my amulet, all it does is give me a little bit of resist and rarity. 
I have a ring that gives me life and that's a small amount. This ring sucks, I need to replace it. And uh, I've got a little bit of rarity on that ring. Literally, the the gen is useless, I don't need that. But uh, the point the point is, like, my gear is very cheap. It's all mostly self-found. So, well, let's see, everything except for the Rise of the Phoenix, Bright Beak, is self-found, I think. Yeah, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, I've, I've literally self-found... Okay, okay, I bought the RCs. I've, I've found my own RCs, but I bought a perfect pair because I died with my other perfect bear. But essentially, everything except the shield is uh, self-found. So so this build is very doable. It's very cheap. It, you can spend a lot of money because you can buy, like, a Combs Heart. Combs Heart would make this build insane. Uh, the cool thing is that you can run this build on a Combs Heart. It's going to give you a lot, of, a lot of damage and life. The cool thing about it is life is damage in this build. You see, I just took a ton of damage there, but it's because I was kind of not paying attention. I don't even have a... Um, normally, I would have, like, a... Uh, eventually I'm gonna have like just one potion and then like three rubies or whatever like three rubies and a granite That's gonna be the the setup that you want to do But uh, as you can see the build is very easy stuff run into me. I die. I mean it dies I have lots of regen and it's a very simple build. There's not much to it other than that I just run around and kill stuff and it's very fast clear speeds So one of the best solo builds I've ever made in my in my career of Path of Exile Now that you know how it works Let's take a look at anything else. Let's see. I don't know if I missed anything. Uh, like I said, I have a lot of. You need a lot of blood magic gems essentially. But we got leap slam, faster attacks, blood magic. You have got your. Uh, I'm leveling up a mortal call because eventually, if I wanted to do Aziri, I can take these buff nodes right here, and I can get a very long duration uh, immortal call. We've got ice nova, Ellie weakness on blood magic. We've got our castle damage taken set up on the shield there. We got vitality, purity fire, reduce mana, grace. All that stuff set up for the Auras, so we're very tanky. I think I'm only at like 37% damage reduction. My gear is not that good. Uh, normally, you don't want to have energy shield because you degen life based on your ES. But uh, this was a good shield that had had uh, rarity and life and resist. And I still still found that too. Let's see, RCs. I could be better. I could get life on those. The belt is kind of shit. It just has life and a little bit of resist. So, you know, overall, the uh, the gear is not too crazy. Let's see, what did I have? Oh yeah, like I said, Val Cyclone, life on hit, and uh, you don't really have to have that for the builds. A lot of people don't actually run Cyclone. I just use it because I like it. And, you know, the extra life regen from life on hit is kind of nice. I don't even have it uh, with quality, but the Val Cyclone is just fun to use. So that's why I use it, mostly because it's fun. You know, pretty much what I do in this game is I have fun. So that's what I'm doing there. Wow. This is all my Magic Find tabs. I, I don't like to... Uh, oh my god, I have so many things. Apparently I need to ID items. I just kind of dump stuff in here whenever I do maps rather than actually IDing it. Anyhow... That's pretty much all there is to the builds. I'll probably be working on another build soon after I get this character leveled up a little bit more. And he's essentially just my solo magic find character. That's all I'm using him for. I'm going to try and just get up to like 75, level 75 maps, farm those, sell off the 76s and 77s, or just hold on to them for another character that I want to get to like high 90s that is, you know, maybe a group play character or something like that. So. Uh, that's about it guys. Thank you for watching this video. If you have any more questions, definitely uh, post them down below or check out my build thread. I have a build thread with all of my items linked in there and uh, all the theory crafting for this build is in my spreadsheet as usual. So I'll see you around for the next one. I'm Kobo Cheese. Peace out.